Hey guys, it's Lindsay. I'm the creative coordinator here at Bisque Imports, and today we're painting this under the sea ocean tree. Wow, that's a really big tree. Have we done a piece that big before for one of these videos? No, not yet. This is the biggest one yet. Woo! Woo! Is it difficult to paint a tree that big? Actually, no. Uh, whenever it's scaled up like this, it actually makes it easier to paint. Oh. I'm not sure I've seen a Christmas tree decorated for the summer. Oh yeah. So actually our lighted trees are trendy for all year round, all the different seasons. In fact, how would you guys paint your tree for the different seasons? We really want to know, so make sure to comment below. Also, if you really love these videos, which we know you do, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Now on to the project. All right, so the supplies that you're going to need for this project are the large lighted tree, Sahara Sands, Blue Isle, Blue Yonder, Caribbean Blue, Bluegrass, Non-Fired Snow, a Cobalt Essential Fan Brush number eight, a Cobalt Filbert Brush number eight, Dish Soap, Straw, a small cup, and our super cute and new Large Sea Creature Light Assortment. All right, let's start. With your fan brush, water down Blue Isle and Blue Yonder Glaze. Then, using your fan brush, create watercolor-like splotches all over the entire tree, excluding the base. Overlap some of the color splotches. Let your tree dry. While your tree is drying, take the base and paint two to three coats of Sahara Sands Elements Glaze using your fan brush. Don't worry, once it's fired, it will be the correct color. Set aside the base to dry, then mix up your bubble glaze solution. Take a small cup and add two parts Caribbean Blue Glaze, one part water, and two to three drops of dish soap. Mix together thoroughly with your straw. Then, holding up the cup at a slight angle, blow into the straw, creating bubbles that overflow out of the cup onto your tree. Move around the tree holding the cup and blowing the bubbles. It's okay if you have a few drips here and there. After all, this is an ocean tree. Make sure your tree has bubbles all over.
Next, water down some bluegrass glaze with your fan brush. Then load your fan brush with water down glaze and hold it over the tree and lightly tap the brush with your finger to let some of the bluegrass splatter all over the tree. Move around the tree and add as much splatter as you want. Let your tree dry completely. No clear glaze is required. Fire to Kono 6. After firing, take your filbert brush and add splotches of non-fired snow to the end of the branches on the tree to create the white sea foam crashing on the waves. Let this dry completely. Don't forget to add in your ocean-themed light bulbs and plug in your tree. You will love the glow of this under-the-sea ocean tree. All right, guys, so that's how you turn this into this awesome under the sea ocean tree. Look at those gnarly waves. It doesn't look too difficult for a beginner like myself. I'm so excited to make my own. Yay, exciting! Yep, it's definitely easy for anybody, even beginners, to paint this tree. So don't forget to check out biscimports.com for a bunch of amazing products. Thank you and we'll see you next time.